Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of The Goods. I'm Chris Bates, editor of Gore Talks, Green Profit, and the uh, e-newsletter Acres Online. And The Goods is all about the hot new products that you would have seen had you gone to a trade show. Had there been any trade shows, but there haven't been any trade shows, and so we're bringing you the next best thing. We're bringing you some of the cool products from some of the cool people and companies that are developing them. And uh, this uh, this time, we've got Bailey Nursery and my friend uh, Alex Charay. Alec, how are you, my friend? I'm doing fantastic, Chris. And you? Very well. You're broadcasting, I assume, from headquarters up in uh, Minneapolis area, right? Well, headquarters, not so much. It's the basement up in Minneapolis. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> it's better than a beach that being hit, hiding behind that that fake background. Yeah, that wouldn't, uh, wouldn't happen in the spring. No way. <laughs> All right, we've been very busy. I'm sure you are too, and our our audience is too. So let's dive right in. I'm going to share uh, share a screen of a presentation you put you sent to me, and we're going to be talking about two things today. The first is a, a rooted liner program that you've got called Jump Starts, and you've done an addition to that called 5.5. You're going to tell us about that. And then you're also going to tell us about a brand new uh, introduction, a hydrangea. That ought to excite some people. How about that? Another hydrangea, right? So take it away. Tell us about Jump Starts 5.5. Well, when it comes to innovation, the work is never done, as they say, Chris. And so uh, just a quick backstory. We've been selling our Jump Starts pod liner program for at least five, six years uh, now, maybe even longer. Um, and as that, that program has continued to grow and growers have had nothing but tr tremendous success and we've, and we've continued to perfect that, that product line, one of the big requests coming back was, hey, what about a larger liner? And so, you know, taking that, that thinking back, thank you for moving that screen. Uh, this is just a shot of, 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 of that, that idea. And so we put some trials forward in our, in our production environment uh, a couple of years ago. Last year, uh, this is a shot of, of a trial uh, house last year where we took an assortment of Endless Summer and First Editions products and moved them into this larger, uh, this larger pot size um, with a focus of serving growers that needed something that maybe was a little bit faster finishing. Maybe they wanted a, a potted liner that would finish a, a larger size. Um, you know, that maybe that, that smaller jump start just took a little bit too much time on the ground to produce. So uh, Jump Starts 5.5 was born. Um, and so, um, you know, as a result, uh, we've, we've recognized a number of additional benefits to the grower uh, as well, in addition to the finishing time. You know, I think it, it, we're talking in an environment right now where we know that there's some major issues going on in the trucking industry. Uh, there's a, a huge shortage of, of drivers out there. And, and so as a result, uh, trucking prices have gone through the roof. So, you know, this, this is a really a product that for growers works exceptionally well to ship. Um, um, you can really maximize the shipping as you, as a, as, as, that we, we can really maximize the shipping, shipping to the grower uh, compared to sending a one gallon um, and loading up a one gallon on a bunch of racks and, and taking up a lot of empty space on a truck uh, with all that airspace. Okay. And you These, said the, the original is now being called the 3.5? Well, I mean, the, the three, the original jump start size is a 3.5 liner. Some people call it a quart size liner. Okay. This is down to 5.5 for the new. Yeah. One. So this, okay. this, this, this jump start 5.5 is going to be more, more uh, applicable to uh, what growers expect out of a one gallon upshift. Okay. Um, so if you just, you know, they, they come in, uh, they come in trays of eight. Uh, they, they cube out really well on, on, on a load. And so you can imagine right off the bat, you just got some, superior freight savings than, than to bring in a load of one gallons that you're going to upshift later. Um, finish as fast as the uh, one gallon would. They absolutely will. They absolutely will. Uh, our growers, we're starting to, we're, we're starting to transition some of our five gallon production at Bailey uh, on some of these, these, these items uh, as a result of that. Uh, so, you know, as a grower, that's uh, always a great Testament when, when you're doing it in house. So uh, yeah. A big piece there. So it works really well depending on what your program is. If you're a grower that prefers a, a potted liner over bare root, that this is just another opportunity to build your production schedule with a larger size. It still fits mechanized planting systems extremely well. Um, you know, or if you're a grower that likes to time your pro your crops a little bit more, where maybe you're planting some bare root in the spring and you just want to have the ability to put some stuff into your production process a little bit later during the spring planting season, you can bring some bring something like this in after you you potted bare root, so you can have that summer availability coming your coming along in your own production. Yeah. So, 
And yeah. Every, and 100% of the Bailey product line is in there, right? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> That's a great. I need you to come over here and, and uh, give that testimonial, Chris. We're working on it. It's a it's a young program, but I think you're going to see this variety expand. The, the, the number of varieties expand very well. Uh, we're very focused on making sure that uh, the, the key brands that you know of ours, uh, especially with Endless Summer and First Editions, that we're working on that availability because obviously those those products are selling like gangbusters. So that's that's a big area of focus. But there's other products that will be added to the line as well. Okay, very cool. I should have mentioned your your title is Chief Marketing and Product Development Officer. So you create the things or at least dream them up, help dream them up, and then you get to sell them too. That's, that's pretty well, interesting mix. That's, that's a lot of fancy words that just basically say I get to work with a lot of really smart people, Chris. There you go. Well, speaking of marketing, you also wanted to talk about uh, the first editions program and in, in addition to uh, first editions. Well, yeah, if I'm going to get this time, if I'm going to get this time, Chris, we're going to take full advantage. You bet. So, uh, <laughs> so I mean, I think as most folks know, uh, one of the biggest pro uh, brands out there is, is is our first editions line. And and if you haven't seen some of the changes that have been coming through with this brand, it's been really exciting. Um, there are some uh, the first editions is a product line that if it's regional regional assortments throughout the country. Uh, maybe not so much in the southwest part of the country. We're not quite good there yet, but everywhere else, uh, there there are varieties that do work. And this is a, a new paniculata that we are introducing uh, right now for for uh, for uh, 2022 called Little Hottie. And you know, for, before people start saying, "Man, there's just so many hydrangea paniculata out there," just keep watching them sell. Number one, they they continue to fly off the retail shelf, so that gives you great confidence. Number one, but really, we're not just putting another hydrangea out there to put another hydrangea out there. One of the big things with hydrangea paniculata, as many people know, is they struggle in that southern heat. And Little Hottie, hence the name, uh, really matches the need uh, of, of that southern marketplace. This is a variety that was bred at our, our breeding facility in Athens, Georgia. We call it Bailey Innovations. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've been watching this plant for a number of years in the ground. This is not a photo of the mother plant, but the photo you're seeing on screen here is a new planting that was done uh, last year by our, our, uh, our, uh, our breeding team down there. Um, but the plant opens up white uh, and then, and, or excuse me, opens up kind of a, a, a kind of a green bud. And then as that plant matures, kind of turns into a beautiful white flower that, that persists throughout the, the, the majority of the summer months. Really strong stems, um, really nice compact in the landscape and also for the grower. If you, I think if you went, wouldn't mind moving to that next slide, Chris, you'll just get a sense of the habit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you see this picture here, and I mean, again, the, the a picture you know, a picture says it all. And what you see in this photo is that basal branching down below, where a lot of those panicula varieties are going to bloom kind of at the top and, and in the terminal. You've got a nice, uh, mature, uh, uh, full, fully developed uh, landscape plant here that's going to flower from top to bottom. So that's that's a really exciting thing. In addition to the heat tolerance and the compact habit uh, that this plant already has. All right. How soon will we be able to find these in the marketplace? You bet. Growers are working their tails off right now to get production going on right now. So lots of propagation and growing going on in 2021 uh, with availability to be seen uh, beginning in spring 22. Um, so if you wouldn't mind moving to that next slide, one of the things I'll, I'll, I'll also wanted to mention, this is just a quick shot of a production trial that was done in Georgia, and you can see how uniform that crop is. And so I think anyone that's growing plants knows how important that is, that consistency is incredibly important. And Little Hottie is a variety that just demonstrates that. The other great thing for the grower is there's not a ton of inputs. There's not a ton of, pr in fact, really little to no pruning is required. Uh, because of its compact nature, we're seeing that not, not, not only in the landscape, but also transferring to the production environment. Would you grow production this from a 3.5 or a 5.5? Uh, we will have this available. Um, uh, you're going to put me on the spot there. I believe we're, <laughs> I think, I think we're going to have this uh, uh, as liners. It'll be bare root and I believe jump starts 3.5 its first year, uh, as right. well as, as, as many growers across the country will also have finished plants. Well, I am an uh, investigative journalist. You know, yes, you are. Yep. Spot. All right. And you want to talk a little bit just to, last, to wrap up about um, uh, kind of packaging and, and the, the brand at retail. Well, I think it's just, I, I just think, you know, it, you know, we talk about at the very beginning, we're, we're talking about grower innovation and the things that we're working hard at Bailey to make sure that growers are successful, but it doesn't just stop there. We just talked about a great new introduction in first editions that we're bringing forward, but we're also working hard to create that pull through demand at retail. So that not only retail benefits, but the growers benefit from, from that traction. So uh, if you haven't seen it already, first editions has been reborn with some exceptional packaging and fantastic positioning that reaches the consumer. What you see on, on screen here 
here is an example of some of the fun catchy tags that we use on our products to capture attention at retail. And we've seen an immediate transformation of this brand. So if you haven't caught onto that yet, um, take a look, it's, it's, it's time. I like, I like those. And what yeah. does it mean for retail? Hey, well, what I mean, this is this. Just, just what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look, look at how that can stand out at retail with that merchandising package. It's all put together. Beautiful. Now, we, we spoke earlier. I asked uh, if you were going to be doing one of your famous open houses this summer. And uh, it's going it's virtual one more year, you said. One more year. Yeah, we're uh, I mean, yeah. We're going to play conservative one more year, but we're going to reach folks through virtual. We've got some great education plan for both retail and grower audiences. So uh, stay tuned for more. However, if you are watching this before uh, mid-July 2021, you will be at Cultivate. Absolutely. Provided there is a Cultivate and the entire industry has its fingers and toes crossed. You betcha. We'll be yeah, we're, we're, we're looking... Yeah, the, the northern me just said you betcha, by the way. So uh, <laughs> you we're, 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 look, we're looking forward to seeing you at Cultivate. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Alec, um, great new products. Um, we hope we can see them uh, live at Cultivate. We'll definitely uh, see more of you in uh, 2022 and, below, uh, and beyond uh, and all the great stuff coming from Bailey Nursery. Thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, and on behalf of everybody up at Bailey Nursery and on behalf of my staff who works hard so I don't have to, I'm Chris Beatty saying thanks for watching this edition of The Goods.